Welcome back everyone, I am Jim from Jim Shaped Coding. So this video is going to be really interesting because of the amount of information you will receive by the end of this video. Just to remember, in the last video we created some variables so we actually understood what variables are and how they work and how we can create them. So as you see, this is the way we, we finished our last episode. You saw that we can create variables with characters with, if they are wrapped by the single or double quotes and also we created some numbers with the variables age1 and age2 because this is the way we call them and on this one we are going to cover two really important topics let's make a quick visit to our blue beautiful board so the point behind this sentence is not actually talking about basketball or something but I just wanted to create up a sentence and just write it up here so I can explain my point. So let's read it. It is true that score is tied at 80 and only 1.9 seconds remaining. Well, the point is, I want you to realize that not only you can define some sentences or pass information with characters, but you can do that with numbers and not only with numbers like 80, 62 and 4. You can do that with numbers like 1.9. And also you can describe a situation whether it's true or false. So this is the main topic here and what I'm talking about is variable types. So we have 4 main types in Python and this is the way I would divide them if I wanted to explain you about variables. So we have regular words here like it is that score which we call in professional language strings. So I'm not going to call this text or characters from now. I'm going to call it by its actual name which are strings. Now we also got numbers that are not displayed by decimal number. Numbers like 80, 72, 4, 3, 5 and so on. Well these numbers are called integers. This is the variable type of integers because it is an absolute number not something like 5.54. And also we got another type of variable which is floating numbers and in a shortened version floats. So these numbers are numbers that are displayed with a decimal point like 3.0, 3.4, 2.0 and also we got another type of variable which is the fourth one and this is called booleans. So boolean is actually a type of variable that its value could be only true or false. So its main purpose is to describe some situations like for example to say 9 equals 8 it's a false expression or to say something like 10 equals 5 times 2 is a true expression. So this is the main purpose of this variable and we are going to use it a lot in the future. So let's turn to our PyCharm to execute some code. So we are going to put in pretty much every variable that we discussed about. Let's start with strings so I can create a name right there. And also let's assume that we want to display my age which is 24. And let's create something that could be a float which is my weight. And I will create something like 162.5. This is with pounds, not with kilograms to take your attention. And the next will be is programmer equals to. So we must pay attention to Boolean values. Okay, both of them, true and false, have to be capitalized. And if you're going to write true with all lower cases, this is not going to mean anything to Python. So let's try to print some nice sentence here like something my name is and I will do a spacebar here and try to add my name so I will get back my name is Jim and if I want to take that one step further I can try to do something like this so I will add another string right there and to make it nicer let's put a dot because this was the end of the sentence we just wrote before and let's put something like my age is and make a spacebar and try to add my age here now if I execute this one uh oh we got an error so congratulations ladies and gentlemen you got your first error in Python programming language and before we move on 
to the next topic let's try to solve it together okay so what i see here is actually a trace back and i see here the file where the error is occurred okay so obviously this happened in the hello world.py file and this happened in line 5 which is the line with the print command now i see here the main title of the error always in the most left side in the output bar which is in the bottom side and let's read this sentence here can only concatenate strings not integer to string now what i try to do here is taking the whole strings that is here and also here because this is equal to jim so it's a string and also this one and i try to add that with a number which is 24 so it is just like in real life in math okay you cannot make something like i don't know uh, john times eight or gym plus 12 right it does not make sense because you can't do that so this leads us to our next topic which are conversions now conversions in python is the ability to convert from one variable type to another and this is a perfect situation where you want to use this feature because you want to change the variable type of age from integer which is a number to string and after you can do this conversion you are now allowed to to add the age to all those strings right there so how we do the conversion from integer to string so basically the conversions are built-in functions that are existing in Python so just like you have the print function you have a function like str that is responsible to convert from any type of variable to string so let's try to use that in the print line now if I delete this right there and I delete the age and I want to write a code that is going to convert the age from integers to string so I can use the str method right there and put in the age right between the parentheses because you have to specify which variable you want to convert to string so if we have something like this and we try to run that this will output my sentence in a very amazing way because all we done is just adding one string to another so there is nothing wrong with that and from here let's take some more examples and before that let's delete all the content so let's try to simulate some more conversions okay so they are also the str that we already know we have also a conversion to int like this we also have conversion to boolean which is going to work in this way and we also have conversion to float obviously so we have conversion to all kinds of types of variables that you already know from this video so let's try to simulate at least two of those so you will get it better and let's try something like number one equals to 25 and let's try to make number two in quotes so it will be a string but put here 30 and now you know that if i do the addition between number one plus number Two, for sure I will get an error because you cannot uh, do an addition between an integer to string so what you can do here is the exact same thing but here it is going to work in the opposite way from the conversion we did a minute ago so we can take this number two and wrap it with the in function so if I run this for sure I will get back the 55 as expected so as we finished about conversions this is the perfect time to jump onto my website and look there to the exercises of this video so this will really help you to get used to what we learned in the last 10 minutes okay this is really important before you jump on to episode 5 and if you enjoyed this episode crack the subscribe button and also like this video you can comment any question you have and that's it for now see you in the next one